When First Lady Michelle Obama starred in Organic Garden at the White House, she sparked a national discussion on food, on obesity, health and sustainability. But the green action on the White House lawn hasn't made it to the White House roof, unfortunately. Last week, the Obama White House rejected a proposal to reinstall the solar panels that President Jimmy Carter placed on the White House roof in the 70s. The panels were taken down by President Reagan and have been used since then at uh, Unity College in Maine. But here in Bonn, Germany, the answer couldn't be clearer. Use stimulus money and policy to jumpstart a green job sector to help create, for example, solar panel manufacturing, installation and servicing. As reported in the Financial Times, German photovoltaic cell installations last year amounted to more than one half of those in the world. Here in Bonn, Germany this week are representatives of the Bangladeshi organization Gramin Shakti, which makes loans and offers technical assistance to allow poor rural people to install solar power in their homes in Bangladesh, often granting access to electricity for the first time in their family's history. They've helped install more than 110,000 systems, often with a woman hired to maintain the system. Uh, creating jobs, empowering women, and raising the standard of living. We turn now to Deepal Barua, who we spoke to here at the Right Livelihood Award gathering. He's the founder of the Bright Green Energy Foundation. My name is Deepal Barua from Bangladesh. I'm uh, the founder and chairman of Bright Green Energy Foundation. Before that, I'm organizing Gramin Shakti, Bill Gramin Shakti, and deputy managing director and co-founder of the Gramin Bank. Basically, we are doing solar energy in Bangladesh. You know Bangladesh, around 150 million people living in Bangladesh. 60% people have no electricity. And only 40% people are enjoying electricity from the grid line. In that calculation, around 85 million people have no electricity. So we decided to introduce a solar energy in Bangladesh in 1996. Under my leadership, uh, we built a solar home system program, financing, and installation and maintenance. So far, in Bangladesh, all together, we install 500,000 systems, and almost 5 million people are getting benefit out of this. But I have a target for 7.5 million system, 10 people in one system, so 75 million people will be benefiting from the solar energy within a couple of years. How do they use the solar panels, the yeah. photovoltaic cells? Yeah. Uh, so solar is very suitable for us. They use for many lighting, education, lighting for household work, and extension of working hours, business hours, and most of them are running a television, black and white, and the mobile phone. The three main, one for lighting, mobile phone charging, and the television. These are very attractive. So many people are basically for television and mobile phone charging, apart from the light. Mm. And how does this fit in with your past working at the Grameen Bank? How do you see it as related? Uh, remember, your audience who's listening to or watching or reading this right now, they may not have even heard of the Grameen Bank. Yeah, actually, the Grameen Shakti I built from 1996, but Grameen Bank started from my own village in 76. I was born and brought up in the village. So, uh, actually, Grameen Shakti is not related to Grameen Bank. We created a solar home system product, 10 varieties, 10 watt, 20 watt, 30 watt, 40 watt, 50 watt, 65, 75, 85, 100, 110, like this, 20. But we arrange also financing. We give the system on credit, only they pay 10 to 15 percent down payment, remaining they are pay monthly installment, saving money from kerosene. Deepal Barua, your Bright Green Energy Foundation, why is that so important for Bangladesh? Can you talk about the issue of global warming? I think the Bangladesh is very important. You know, globally, uh, all scientists agreed that in Poznan, in Copenhagen, any all places, all international conference on the climate change, global warming, Bangladesh is the number one victim of global warming. Though we are not creating cause for global warming, but we are victim of global warming. If one meter, two meter water rise, two-third of the country, one-third of the country, 50 percent of the country, there's a forecast will be underwater. From so, a flood? From, a, from the water, uh, from the sea level rise. Yeah, flood, cyclone, mini tsunami. So Bangladesh is one of the victims of global warming. But if you can create a solar nation, we're replacing uh, million tons of uh, kerosene, so and we're replacing million tons of carbon emission reduction. So we are victim of global warming, but we can create an example, uh, carbon neutral, uh, 
uh, uh, economy and we create a green jobs in the rural area. That would be a poverty elevation and also we can create a green jobs. At the same time, we are producing green energy from the solar, from the biogas plant, from the improved cooker stove, we save uh, energy also, firewood we saving, and we save the mother's life. I believe uh, for renewable energy, solar energy, and we have a plenty of sunshine, 365 days, 340 days, we have a sunshine, average 4.5, 5, 5 uh, hours, six hours, seven hours, uh, sunshine is available. So this is a plenty of sunshine. We have a plenty of human beings. We train them. They become human resources, and we are creating green jobs. At the same time, we have a uh, solar energy for lighting, for television, mobile phone charging, any business extension of business hour. I was wondering if you have a message for President Obama. Uh, in the United States, uh, Jimmy Carter, more than 30 years ago, put solar panels on the White House. When President Ronald Reagan came into office, he took those solar panels down. Now those same solar panels were brought back to the White House by an environmentalist named Bill McKibben and students at Unity College in Maine, and they asked President Obama to re-put them on the White House. The White House has said no. What is your response to that? Uh, if uh, I, I'm working with the solar energy for the last 14 years, I believe if uh, President Obama put solar panel in the White House. This is in a moral boost, a psychological boost, and a green energy boost. In Bangladesh, our Prime Minister put solar energy in her office, and also Bangladesh Bank Central Bank, they put solar energy in their central bank office in Bangladesh. I think uh, it would be a, not only for lighting, not only for energy, but it is a demonstration that you prefer renewable energy, you prefer green energy. This is a symbolic uh, attitude, symbolic uh, uh, attempt. I think uh, he should put solar panel in the White House. This is a message for the environmentalists. This is a message for the green job. This is a message for the green energy in the whole world. Deepal Barua is the founder of the Bright Green Energy Foundation and a Right Livelihood Laureate. Here in Bonn, as we gather the 80 or so uh, winners of the Right Livelihood Award, a news conference was just held today with the mayor of Bonn. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, the War and Peace Report. When we return, We'll find out what's happening in Thailand. Large anti-government protests are planned for Sunday. We'll speak with a Thai Right Livelihood Laureate. Stay with us. Unknown areas, didgeridoo and cello, uh, played by Thomas Studell and Henning Hoffman. Uh, they were playing this week as the Right Livelihood Award winners signed the Golden Book of Bonn, the la largest mass signing of the book in the history of this city, formerly the capital of West Germany. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. We're broadcasting from Bonn, Germany. It's the 30th anniversary of the Right Livelihood Awards, and many of them have gathered here uh, to talk about their work and their continued mission. Well, in Thailand, large anti-government protests